What did the Quran teach us? The Quran teaches us that, that if somebody attacks you, defend yourself. Okay. It's not the hypocrisy of turn the other cheek, yeah. right? People talk about turn the other cheek, but we challenge any pastor to come here and let me slap them. Yeah. And let me well, see if they turn the other cheek, monk, right? Let them come. I haven't will. seen it. Oh, yeah, it's just all talk. Oh, it's hypo let a monk come to here, San Diego, Balboa Park here. Let me slap the daylights out of him and let me see him turn the other cheek. This is a challenge. Uh, what about the, you know, uh, cutting hands in the Quran? What's that all about? So when you talk about cutting hands in Islam, first thing we need to put things in perspective, right? It's not like you just go around the street cutting hands with people and things like this. Um, in Islam, you have penal codes, you have penalties, which are such that they have prevention instead of cure. Right? It's not just about like you do something and then you then you have to go and try to fix it by putting somebody in jail and then taxpayers are paying 70,000 a year to keep somebody in jail. And, and w what do you do with that? Somebody steals and you put them in jail, how does that benefit them or society? It just gets them to network more with criminals, work out, uh, you know, uh, join a prison gang, stab somebody. How does that make anything better? In Islam, we have the idea that if you prevent the crime, this is better than trying to deal with it afterwards. So when you know as a person that if you steal, you're going to get your hand chopped off, are you going to steal? You're not going to take that chance. So let's say somebody is starving, right? And you need to steal in Islam, the hand's not cut. If somebody 